If you want to know about the battle of the books, you've come to the right place. If you were wondering how to fix your blender, mm, you will probably want to find another video. Or you can stay and watch this one because it is packed with awesome information. The Eastern Iowa Battle of the Books is a competition that tests students on their knowledge of the current year's Iowa Children's Choice Award nominees. The Iowa Children's Choice Award nominees are a set of 20 books that have been recommended by, you guessed it, kids. Much like many sports, you will work as a team. Unlike most sports, Battle of the Books doesn't strengthen your muscles, it strengthens your brain. Teams of three students in either 4th, 5th, or 6th grade form at the school level. Battles take place at three levels to determine the final grand champion for the region. First, you will battle against teams at your own school. If you reign victorious over the other teams, you will move on to the district level. At the district level, you will compete against other teams who have won at their school. If you are the winning team from your district, you move on to the regional or final battle. In this battle, your team will represent your whole district and go against other school districts to see who will take home the champion trophies. The first step to preparing yourself for the Battle of the Books is to begin reading the Iowa Children's Choice Award books, of course. You can find all kinds of information about these books by visiting the ICCA or Iowa Children's Choice Award Battle of the Books website. The link is posted in this video's description. Also, you could prepare for the Battle of the Books by memorizing all of the titles and authors of the Iowa Children's Choice Award nominees. Those are all the answers for the battles. Yep, every question is phrased in a way that the correct title or author will be the answer. For example, a question might be, in which book does the librarian get eaten by a giant tomato? Actually, that's none of the books. I hope. I mean, I'm a librarian. But you get the point. It's basically multiple choice, but all the choices need to be inside. Yep, your brain. For every correct title, your team earns five points. For every correct author, your team earns three points. The team with the most points wins. If you're wondering when these battles take place, usually school battles are during or near the month of February. The district battles are generally in early or mid-March, and the final battle takes place in late March or early April. So you have until then to prepare and form your teams. If your school has you choose your own teammates, remember to pick students who have the same goal as you. If you just want to try a new type of competition and read some awesome books, great! Find two other people who have that goal. If you are the type that is in it to win it, make sure you find other teammates who have the same passion as you. This may mean you're not picking your best friend for your team, and that's okay. Everyone has different interests. You will have the best time with the Battle of the Books if everyone on your team is on the same page. Pun totally intended. Also, some schools allow for an alternate fourth team member. This person doesn't compete in the battles unless another team member is unable to attend a battle. Emergencies can happen, so this can be a good option if someone wants to be an alternate. Also, as you probably know, two brains, or three, are better than one. So if you can, have at least two people read each book on the Iowa Children's Choice Award nominee list. That way, if someone has an emergency and can't make it to the battle, you're not going to be drawing a total blank on the books that teammate read. If you're wondering where the battles for the Battle of the Books will take place this year, the school battles generally take place at your school. The district and regional battles will be held at one of the public libraries participating in the Eastern Iowa Regional Battle of the Books competition. We will let you know all the details once we know more. Last of all, if you're looking for copies of the Iowa Children's Choice Award nominees, the Bettendorf Public Library has multiple print copies available for checkout. You can even request these items and more through the library website. We also have these books and many, many more available as eBooks. You just need your library card. If you don't have a library card yet, it's free and simple to get one. Check out www.bettendorflibrary.com for more information. So now it's time for you to start memorizing titles and authors, deciding who you will have on your team, and most importantly, reading the Iowa Children's Choice Award nominees. Or you can go back to watching cat videos or whatever it was you were doing. 
Thanks for listening.